sorry, but I'm sorry. Been in the area. We're going more than three miles down. We're going to see a lot of neat stuff along the way. So if you're ready, let's get going. Dad can make it. Hang on tight. up north of Pittsburgh or up the Allegheny River to the east. Now, all of this stuff used to be trees and green leaves and ferns. Oh, no kidding. Well, Pittsburgh used to look like that tropical forest up in the exhibit hall 300 million years ago. Here, I'll show you. Oh. Now, to make one foot of coal, it takes 20 to 40 feet of dead logs and leaves and things all piled up and then mashed down real hard with a lot of heat for millions and millions of years. Here, take a closer look. See? You can still see some of the plants in the coal. Now, this is enlarged 800 times. Those yellow shapes are spores and grains of plant resin and cuticle. The red is wood and bark. <laughs> Looks like art, doesn't it? Well, I, I guess it kind of is. Yeah. Well, we'd better be moving on. Here we go. Boy, the Earth's amazing, ain't it? No matter how many times I make this trip, I still get excited. On our next stop, we're going to visit a limestone cave. But don't forget to watch that counter in the meantime, though. When these rocks were being made, this was a tropical paradise covered with a huge ocean. Tiny shell creatures lived in there, and when they died, they all piled up in the bottom, forming limestone. At other times, erosion washed sediment from the young Appalachian Mountains down into the sea, and that stuff settled on the bottom and became sandstone and shale. And whoa! Oh, was this the cave? Whew, that was close. We're 1,500 feet down now at a limestone cave. Now, this is called Greenbrier limestone. It was made 330 million years ago in that ocean I was telling you about. I'll tell you what. Since you're stuck in that elevator cab, I'll give you a quick tour of the cave through the magic of the Stratovator just by turning this knob here. Here we go! In the years since it was formed, this soft limestone rock has been slowly hollowed out by groundwater dissolving the rock in one place and depositing it in another way. Drip by drip, grain by grain, sculpting stalactites and stalagmites in the process. Pretty, yeah. Well, let's catch our breath and plunge on. Going deeper! feet of sandstone. These rocks yes, form natural that. traps for gas and oil. And they produced Drake's first oil well up near Titusville in 1859. Oil and gas are formed from the remains of billions of microscopic plants and animals that lived in shallow prehistoric seas. <laughs> Third stop coming up. And Ooh-wee, it's heating up down here. 
Let's have a look, eh? Yeah, it is. 167 degrees. How you folks doing in there? I bet you didn't know that for every 300 feet down we go, the temperature yeah. goes up about four and a half It feels feet. really hot in here. Oh. So this is a deposit of evaporite. It's a kind of sedimentary rock that's made when minerals like salt and gypsum get left behind when salt water evaporates. And these rocks were made 400 million years ago when Pittsburgh was a hot, dry place south of the equator. Sounds yeah. like a desert. Now, there was a shallow inland lake there, kind of like the Great Salt Lake in Utah. And uh, it dried up, uh, leaving these tremendous deposits. And if you look close, you'll see that they're all crystal. Sometimes you find some real beauties, just like this one. Ain't nature great? Well, try to keep cool in there, because we're going even deeper. Down. It's gonna stop at 12,000 feet and go down. And then go back up again. This is hard work, but we're having fun, aren't we? We're going down to 12,000 feet. That's about as deep as most of the big oceans. Imagine standing on the bottom of the ocean, huh? Whoa, that's deep. Whoa. It's coming up. Hold tight. Just one. That's cool. <laughs> uh, well, folks, we're looking at some rocks made out of things called stromatolites. Now, they were colonies of algae, akin to that slimy stuff you find inside your goldfish bowl, you know, the stuff. Algae. <laughs> well, this is the fossilized remains of lots of algae that formed a reef under the huge ocean that covered most of the North American continent 500 million years ago. Stromatolites are one of the first forms of life on this planet. And they were neat because they took in carbon dioxide and they gave off oxygen, <laughs> which allowed uh, oxygen-breathing creatures to evolve and eventually you and me to come along. Oh, and speaking of coming along, we better get along to our last stop. <clears throat> Just let me... part of the Earth's crust. It marks the bottom of the sedimentary rock. Now, of course, the bottom of the continental plate is still nearly 22 miles below us, and the center of the Earth is 3,940 miles below that. But this is as far as we go. Oh, James. Well, that's it, folks. We went through the museum's basement all the way down to the continent's basement, and pretty soon we'll be home again. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed your Stratovator ride. Right? We've seen a lot today, but the Earth is over four and a half billion years old. We've only scratched the surface. Well, pretty soon we'll be home again. Oh, Nelly, and a snackless cherry. Man. Hey, this has been a lot of fun. Thanks for coming. Hope to see you again sometime. Ten feet you go down again. So long. I hope to see you again next time. Just the likes of it. Uh, back to the library. Alright. That was an awesome ride. I hope you liked it. Bye.